Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you the handwriting and note-taking performance of the Microsoft Surface Go 2. These are the three apps that I'll be using, Wacom Bamboo Paper, Nabo, and Microsoft OneNote. The first thing to note is the Surface Go 2 has a laminated display, so there is no gap between the glass and the LCD beneath. When you're writing, it really looks like the line is appearing directly beneath the pen tip. This is Wacom Bamboo Paper. The note-taking performance is quite fluid, but somehow I feel like the lines, they don't follow exactly behind my stroke, and it feels like the tablet, um, sometimes it's not able to detect the first stroke. This app is usually able to capture my handwriting very accurately, but that doesn't seem to be the case today. So you see this letter T, when I wrote the horizontal stroke, I fill it with this vertical stroke, but this stroke only starts here. So it wasn't able to detect the stylus here, and you can see this U here, it wasn't able to detect the pen here, so it started the stroke here. And it wasn't able to detect my two dots earlier, the dot above the eye. Oops, see that? I tried to dot again, but it didn't work the first time. And didn't work the first time again, and now it works. Palm rejection works fine, there's just one straight dot over there. But otherwise, I can usually put my palm on the display and there usually isn't any stray strokes. But if you want to, you can draw with your finger, but when you place your palm, nope, no stray strokes. Next, we have Nabel. The handwriting performance here is better compared to the earlier app in the sense that it's able to capture my handwriting style very accurately. And the performance, it's very smooth, very fluid. This is an app that can convert handwritten notes into editable text and it's able to read my handwriting really accurately. So you see this uh, letter B here, it's not closed up properly. It could be a letter H, but it managed to read that as Nabel. And here, T-H-E, the H, it's very difficult to read, but here it managed to read that word. Uh, perfectly. And I was also able to create the dots, the two dots by tapping, no issues here. So to convert the text, you just have to tap here and click convert. This app has perfect palm rejection because it only takes pen input. If you use your finger, it will just move the page around. This is Microsoft OneNote, one of the better note-taking apps. This app is available on Android, iOS, and Windows, and there is cloud syncing, so you can access your notes from any device that can run OneNote. And here it's able to capture my handwriting really well. Palm rejection here is flawless because it only takes pen input. If you use your finger, it will not write anything, it will just move the page around. And you can also convert your handwritten notes into editable text with this app. You just have to select the text you want to convert. Click here, ink to text. And it seems like it's able to read my handwriting very accurately. There are no errors. So the overall handwriting performance will depend on the apps you use. And the functionality also depends on the app you use. Most apps have pressure sensitivity, so you can get thin and thick lines when you are writing. Some apps will have perfect palm rejection, some don't. For this particular app, screen, you can use your finger to erase. So um, earlier on with Microsoft OneWord, you can use your finger to move the page, but here it's a different function, a different shortcut. So overall, the handwriting and note-taking performance on the Surface Go 2, it's very positive for me. I will give it an A. Alright, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. See you guys in the next one. Bye!